I remember when I first started to cut David's uniform, I had this shock of, can you do this? Should you do this? You can't uncut it. I can remember feeling I was shaky and my mouth was kind of dry and I went ahead and cut. And then it went into the beater and I remember watching these little pieces flow through the water and there was something renewing about that. Just watching the little pieces just getting zipped and crushed and the fibers being liberated. And then when I made the sheets of paper, that fear and everything just sort of turned into something new that was good because at that time I was pretty depressed. I am co-founder of David J. Draculich Foundation for Freedom of Expression and our vision statement is Art Heals War Wounds. We started working as a foundation as early as 2009 after our son was killed in 2008. We were able to establish the Combat Paper Nevada project. We cut up uniforms or any kind of cloth, cut them into postage stamp sized pieces and put them in the beater. This is part of uniforms that we cut up and we shred. And we add this to the beater and we beat it. It's a metal wheel and it just beats it. It beats the fibers. That way we don't cut the fibers and the fibers sit back in together and they form paper. And it is very loud. The fiber becomes uh, so small and kind of forms a slurry with the water that it's mixed with. And we pour that into a vat and sift it out with a mold and deckle and form the sheet by crushing them onto a pellon and then drying them. And that's what it looks like. We do big papers, big flags, colorful flags, cranes, origami. As a veteran, combat paper has opened up friendship doors. To be able to start to express my personal feelings and views about what I had lived through was so empowering. I realized I had gone through this uniform is a symbol of pain and loss and grief and stuff I don't really agree with sometimes. And this whole out of control thing where all I can do is look at this thing and feel like crying to where I overcame that by cutting it up and overpowering it. I turned it into something I wanted. And that was a huge turning point for me in my healing process.